Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and welcome to a brand new series for Myth of Empires. This isn't just any series. Myth of Empires has finally been released. It is the 1.0 release. This game is on Steam for $40 normally, but right now it's on sale for 10% off till February 28th. Thank you to the developers for sending me a key, and I just have one more thing to say before we get started. I will be playing this on my Sunday stream at 6 p.m. Central Time. And here we are in game. So let's go ahead and press I to open my inventory and choose expertise according to the flashing button. So expertise are kind of like, uh, well, your talents and skills. And I believe the one we're looking for is lumbering. It's right down here. They want me to put a point down here. And I think what these things do is help you get uh, experience faster for the, you know, perks and everything. Yeah, see skill experience efficiency 1.43. All right, cool. Awesome. Uh, press X to claim the reward. I love when they. I love tutorials in survival games, and I really love tutorials in survival games where they give you rewards for them. All right, we need to collect some grass. We need to collect fifty grass. So let's go ahead. And yes, you did see a horse. You can um, ride horses in this game, which is really cool. Um, I am going to work on at some point today uh, getting rid of that chat box. Uh, this is like this is kind of a multiplayer focused game. I am playing single player mode. Uh, it's pretty cool because I made my world and then you can choose whether you want to take your world into single player or multiplayer. So I believe I can like make a world and even if it's single player, I could bring it into a multiplayer setting if I want people to play with me and stuff. Um, I won't be doing that on our stream on Sunday. We'll be playing a whole new world because I want everyone to start from the beginning. And um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. All right. Press X for our reward. There we go. Now, I have my settings on normal, so, like, if you want, I think you can have your experience maybe go a little bit slower if you want to by picking the harder difficulty, but I like normal. Normal seems pretty good. Uh, we need to craft, craft 15 straw rope. So, there we go. So, if you right-click, you could craft one or pick more. And what do they want? 15? I'm just going to make 20 because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot more rope anyway. So we are now crafting rope, and while we're crafting rope, I will continuously pick up uh, more bushes. I guess I'm going to have to pick up stone and wood, probably. Uh, I'm going to try and find that on the ground. What is that? Oh, okay. We just we got rubble. Rubble? Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's rubble. Okay. Maybe the rubble is the stone. There's some sticks right there, too. I mean, I do feel like I'm getting experience pretty quickly. I can't change the settings, by the way. Or if you can, I don't know how to. So, <laughs> might just be leveling fast here. See how it goes. Okay, collect more rubble. What do we got down here? All right, so these are just deer. So we don't have to worry about them attacking. All we got to do is run around and collect some more rubble. Uh, just one more. Let's collect some sticks, too. I'm probably going to need these. Oh, a fox. Foxes are weird. In some survival games, they'll attack, and some they won't. It's kind of odd. Oh, hold on. There we go. Claim reward. All right, we need to craft a stone axe. And then add it to the sidebar, and we need to collect branches as well. Okay. So let's see how we can do this. Um, crafting, stone axe, right click, craft one. There we go. And then we'll put that, I guess, in... Uh, now nah, I'm going to put that in number three. Because I'm probably going to use melee weapon number one, ranged weapon number two. So we'll put that as number three. All right, cool. So now you need to collect branches. So can we chop down big trees now? Do we get branches or or logs? Wait, collect. Huh, must have been on the ground. All right. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You can, like, chop from side to side. But there's a... Okay, hold on. Um, Block... Bottom right-hand side. Block release attack. Off-hand block. Toggle continuous attacks is B. There we go. All right, cool. So what did I get from that? I, I wasn't noticing because I was reading. Um, so I got some bark. Yeah, I don't see logs. I don't know. I'm not sure you get logs, but whatever. I got the sticks. Let's go ahead and clean the reward. Let's make a stone hammer. Now, I don't think my world is up when I'm not on, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I want to, like, have a place to stay before I log off today. Um, craft stone hammer and collect rubble. Oh, that's right. The hammer is not for building. The hammer is actually for mining. I don't know if it changes to a pickaxe later. I don't remember. I played this game, like... I don't know, like a year and a half ago, something like that. And then I played it again about a month ago. They had legal issues and stuff. I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff because I don't... It doesn't really concern me, to be honest. Um, But they got it taken care of, and now the game's out, so... 
horse isn't gonna attack me, right? Right? Um, I think that horse is gonna attack me. Okay, let's run over here then. <laughs> I don't know if there's a run. I, I'm pressing. Here, this is me normal, and this is me holding sprint. Yeah, I guess it's a little faster. Doesn't feel that much faster though. I remember having a little bit of an issue with this game on how fast you move. So I hope that's not going to be uh, a hindrance. All right. Press L to check the mission details. Side mark on the map. Press M open. Oh, they want me to mark. Yeah, add a marker. Okay. Where am I? It doesn't show me on the map, huh? All right. Mark. And then... Wait, teleport to? Oh, that's not good. I got to make sure I don't use that. <laughs> I guess I'm like an admin or something. Um, yeah, how do we get rid of it, though? Uh, mark, movement, remove markers, control. Right mouse button. Okay, cool. So I think I'm around here somewhere. Although, if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know exactly where I am. It's kind of weird you don't show up on the map. All right, we're going to uh, main campfire. So let's make a campfire. Are we going to just stay down here by the water for the time being? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll make a little, little area here. So let's go ahead and make a campfire. Uh, oh, we need to spec into it, don't we? Unlock recipe. Okay. So, recipe. Guild crafting recipes. There we go. Campfire right there. Confirm. All right. And we go right there, and we can make ourselves a campfire. And make a campfire. Gotta get warm, man. Okay. So, where is it? Five, four. Let's go. So, let's see if we can place the campfire from our inventory. Yes, we can. I like that. Although it is raining, I don't know if that's going to matter. All right, let's claim. Claim. Uh, roast locust on the campfire. Okay. So, yep, right there. Okay, so the locust has probably got to be inside the campfire materials. And then we need to give it some fuel. Trigger. Again, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, just do all. Confirm. Dogs got to eat. All right, so it is going in the rain. All right, cool. So, skewered locust, which is basically cooked locust, uh, increases fullness by 12 in 10 seconds, recovers points of meridian, I don't know what that is, toxicity, uh, increases loyalty when warrior lower T falls below 40. Interesting. All right, we're going to put that right over here. Where's my food bar? Oh, my food bar's full. Why is my food bar full? Feels like I should have, like, not have a full food bar, although water is an issue. All right, let's go ahead and, um, oh, I got to eat them anyway. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wait, is the blue the food bar? Oh, the blue is the food bar. Okay, so I thought the yellow was the food bar and the blue was the was the thirst meter. No, uh, I don't see a thirst meter, so I guess we don't have one. Um, and the blue is the hunger bar. Okay, great. That's good. All right, basic weapons. We need a cruel, a, a cruel, a crude polearm and a throwing rock. Did a couple more quests. I got my spear. I also have my um, throwing stones uh, right here. I'm not going to put those down there. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that spot for a bow. Um, I did have to go into the crafting recipes to learn them. This is the weapon tree. Uh, so yeah, next thing we need to do is uh, make wood armor. So we got to go into the crafting recipe tree and I guess go to armor and crude protective gear. There we go. And now we can make some wood armor. Craft one. Craft one. Wow, we had just enough. Awesome. Should I just make some more rope right now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make some rope right now. It's kind of. I wish there was like a like make all button. There we go. We just gotta make. Uh, press X for that. And now we're making the gear, putting it on. Uh, we have to put it on. Well, we're making it first, then we put it on. And then we'll finish that quest. And then we'll have some nice armor. Also, that server FPS player one. All that stuff in the top right-hand side. Yeah, I got to figure out to get rid of that. I went ahead and hunted an animal. Um, I suck at combat in this game. I made a bow. I made some arrows. Hunted an animal. Um, I made a knife and skinned the animal. Came back here. Then I made a shield. Uh, where is it? There it is. Don't really know exactly how the shield is going to work. I guess I'll just put it right there for now. And just kind of move these things down the road. There we go. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know what these are above. Uh, right click to use skin. What? Okay. I guess you can get weapon skins and stuff. All right, so I could use this and I could use this. And right click to block, right? 
and it doesn't tell me on the uh, hold block release attack hold block release attack does it automatically block then um kind of looks like i'm blocking a little bit yeah. all right whatever uh, we need to go kill an animal and skin it again because when i skinned it the first time um it the quest wasn't telling me to do it so it doesn't count um, there are some foxes around here. I got my butt kicked in combat too. I didn't like die or anything, but I got hit a lot and it's the combat's very difficult Very difficult. So I'm um, just gonna kind of have to deal with it and we'll see what's what now The thing is I don't want all three of these guys to attack and I'm pretty sure they will and if they do I'm probably gonna die But Yeah, I, I honestly don't think I can I can beat them. Let me go find something that's either by itself or something a little bit smaller, like a rabbit or something, would be great. Let me see what I can find. All right, I found something right here, so let's see if we can... Uh, there's a, he's got a buddy, but the, his buddy kind of left. Uh, okay, switch to weapon. Melee weapon, get a shield out. And we've got two guys on us. Yeah. All right. Missed. Missed. Got him. Got him. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a third. So I'm pretty sure I got hit, even though I was blocking. But maybe he just made the um, and like the sound like he got hit, but he didn't really get hit. All right, his ass. All right. So as they get low on hit points, they do start running away, which is pretty cool. All right, got him. Now are they gonna come back or what? I also need to look into healing items. All right, let's go ahead and skin this guy before they come back. Honestly, I only need one kill. What the Heck, get him. All right, he's done. All right, let's get out of here. We definitely need to look into healing items. All right, so I can't run away, so that's good. So you just, you know, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I suck at the combat. It is what it is. <laughs> just just got to accept that. Let's go ahead and claim that reward. Now we need to make a bedroll and join or create a guild. I went ahead and made a guild. Um, it's not showing the name of the guild. I think that's because I'm in streamer mode, but it's called the cage crew and it's going to be a guild of one. Now there's all kinds of activity points you can get in the guild. Um, the guild can have its own guild buildings. It's very deep. Um, it's going to be really fun to stream this game. Uh, just saying solo. I'm having a good time solo, but this guild stuff might be a little bit of an issue for me. Um, I also made myself a bedroll. It's not telling me to put down the bedroll. It's just telling me to build a house. So what I did was I came into the crafting, I went into building and stuff, and I unlocked all this stuff. And let's see what we need to make this stuff. So, I don't know, man. Maybe there's not logs in the game, because <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to make a large foundation? I don't think I do. I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, let's see, if the, let's see if it makes sense to make a, a large foundation. So rubble, straw is both one. The, the large foundation is a two by two. So um, it takes... Oh, it takes rope, one rope and one rubble. This takes four rubble, so that's not any better, but it does take less rope. Also, the branches are eight. Um, eight times three is 24. This is 25. So this is this saves you a little bit of rope, but I don't think I want to build with it because in my, in my experience with games, whenever you use large foundations, sometimes they mess it, they mess it up. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do large foundations. I'm going to do regular foundations and I've got to make more rope. And then I think I've got to go get more wood. Yep, and rubble. Okay, let me go gather a bunch of stuff. We're gonna make um, we're gonna make a two by two with a with a, a two, I don't know what you call it, a two by two building, and it's gonna have a one by two porch. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. We'll put the foundations down first. Um, I'm kind of curious on a couple things. Like, will it get rid of grass? Uh, how do the walls work? Do I have to actually look into windowed walls or do walls, you know? Or is it the kind of thing where you have a wall and it's like it could be a window or a door or a wall or whatever? Um, let's see. So we do have all our six foundations. Like I said, a two by two with a two by one porch. Seven. Okay. And auto snap. Yes. Building type. Oh, T. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. I love when they do this. I love when they put things in like a bunch of different blocks into one block. It's awesome. Um, how do I raise how high it is though? Is there any way to do that? Is there any way to rotate it? It's weird. It's not giving me a, it's not giving me a lot of, um, information on how this stuff works. I'm going to, I'm going to look in the uh, settings and see how to do this kind of stuff. Cause, um, it's only saying auto snap building type. So I look forward to learning more about the building 
as you know, I play the game, but right now um, it's kind of weird because uh, if like you can have stuff rotate, by the way, it's after you go to put it down here, I'll show you right now. If you go to put it down, then you can rotate it. The problem is once you put something down, if you're going to have them snap into place, you can't rotate it right here. I'll just put this one down right now. Um, so I go to put this one down uh, and it just goes down. So can't rotate it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know if you can raise it or lower it. Uh, the building is a little weird because as you can see right here, if you look at this carefully, uh, it's got the boards going left to right, but it's also got a sideboard on two ends of it. So like it's a square, but on one side and then another side, it's got these boards going sideways, like opposite direction. Well, there's not opposite direction here, but it's opposite direction here. And I would like to turn this around completely and close it in. So you see how this board going this way is on the outside. I'd want to make it this, this part come over here and make this on the outside. And I can't find out any way to do it. So it is what it is. I'll just kind of build with what I got and we'll see if we can learn more. Maybe the game needs uh, more work. I don't know, but all right, number seven. So we got a wall here and uh, T yep, doorway window. Oh, high wooden door frame. We're going to keep it simple. Wow. There's a lot of choices here. All right. Wooden door frame. All right. So the wooden door frame will go right here. Is there an inside and an outside? There's definitely differences. Uh, is that the inside you think? I don't know. I'm not really sure. There's little like metal things on it. I would think the metal things would be on the inside. No, maybe they're on the outside. Um, there we go. I need a torch or something. Yeah, that kind of looks like what I would think the outside would look like. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's what I'm going with. All right. Can we make some more of these? What do we need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Looks like we got some more work to do. And it looks like we need branches. That makes sense. Take a look and see if we can make a torch. Oh, yeah. We can make a torch. All right. Let's make a torch. All right. Then we're going to put down the rest of these. Now I got to decide where I want the windows to go. Um... I don't know. It's a tough choice there. Um, I definitely want a window here. Now, how is that? Yeah, I'm going to put those metal things on the outside. Let me know what you guys think, because I'm not sure. It kind of looks like they should be on the outside. Well, actually, they're on the inside on this one. I put that one down wrong. Um, Maybe they're supposed to be on the inside. I don't know. I don't know. If you kind of move it around, they'll like go to the outside. Well, actually, these aren't going to the outside. Um, building bind point uh, Q. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's not going on the outside. Um, auto snap, I'm going to leave on. And I have to make a decision. I, I don't know, man. That kind of feels like it should be the outside. But now I can't get it to turn around. Like, it's not... It's not giving me the option to put those metal things on the outside, like at all. All right, you know what? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Eh, it is what it is. Kind of trying to figure it out as we play. All right, so the next one will be. No, nah, I want regular. I was gonna like. Oh, we gotta put a window there too. There's too many windows. You know what? I'm not going to... Usually, I like to have a window going in all directions. Not today. Okay. Beautiful. Now, we just make, make some roof pieces. I don't know how that's going to work. Let me go ahead and put this right there so I can hold that out. Um, these aren't going to work, so we're going to need these. Let's just make one for now and see how that's going to work. I think I know how, I think I know how it's going to work. We'll just kind of have to see. All right, and put that right there, number seven. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, damn it, that's, that's not where I freaking put it. By the way, you can hold down E to trash stuff. I don't think you get anything back though. That's a big no-no, by the way, game developers. Listen up, give us our freaking resources back. Give us all of them back. Especially when you saw that thing was in its proper location. And it just moved on its own and I got screwed out of resources. 
Um, I know it's, well, actually, it's not even early access. It's a full release. So normally I would say, well, it's early access. They'll work on it. But now stuff like that needs to work. And you really just give us the resources back. Don't be so, don't be so stingy with your resources, man. Because, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes the building stuff is not my fault. Or our, our fault. All right, let's grab some more resources. So I found these corner pieces, which are going to work really well. Um, the problem is like when I put down this stuff, like sometimes it just doesn't go where I'm trying to put it. Uh, just like you guys saw it happened again. So anyway, press T and you get this corner piece right here. And is there, okay, there we go. Now let's see if this goes in its proper spot. Nope. Nope. See, I don't, I don't really know what to do about that, man. Like it's just wasting resources. I, I don't know if like, That time it worked. Maybe um, go from a different angle. Nope. <sighs> gotta fix this stuff, man. You gotta fix this stuff. This is... <laughs> I gotta laugh to keep from crying. Alright, I'm gonna finish this roof off camera. It'll probably place down improperly a bunch of times, but... Oh, novice protection will be deactivated. Your character reaches 20. Okay. Whatever. Um, what was I saying? You interrupted me and I don't know what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, you don't need to see me struggle with this. You know you know I'm struggling. Let's just get it done. I got the roof done. Uh, thankfully, it is pretty uh, quick to gather the resources. So uh, we got a little house right here. So I think what I'm going to do next is not telling me to put down the bed. It's telling me to put down this, um, this war banner. I'm thinking a uh, territory banner uh, can mark your territory for 48 hours. It can protect your buildings against decay while increasing the decay rate of hostile guilds buildings within 21 meters. Each player can own two banners. Yeah, okay, got it. So is my stuff actually going to decay in single player? Like, that's... I don't know. It's not decaying yet, so... Whatever, I'll put one down. I don't see any reason not to. We put it on the roof? Nope. All right. Uh, let's put it over here. Kind of out of the way a little bit. All right, claim my reward. So, um, craft and place a wooden door. Okay, and then we also got, uh, furnace stuff. Let me go ahead and put down the bed. I don't know why it hasn't told me to put down the bed yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put down the bed now. And we'll put it right here, I guess. It's not a big building. This is the kind of game you're gonna need a giant base, because there's gonna be a lot of crafting tables. Like, a lot of crafting tables. Think Conan. Um, teleport. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, will this be my spawn point? Uh, destroy, teleport, rename, use permission set, repair. Okay. All right, sounds good. What's next? Um, craft the wooden door. Okay. So where is the wooden door? Um, can you search? I guess you can't search. I could go to buildings. And there we go, wooden door. Need some more branches. Let's go chop down another tree. Um, I think that might be iron right there, by the way. So, I'm going to go a little long today. I'm going to go a little bit long on this episode because I'm pretty freaking excited about this game. And, you know, I want to get as much done as possible in the first episode. Just to show you what the game has to offer. It's got problems, man. It's got some It's got some building issues that really need to be sorted out. Unless there's building controls I'm not aware of. Very well could be the case. But, um, assuming it is the way I think it is, then yeah, it's got some. it's got some issues. Craft one. What is that? Wooden fence door frame. Oh, that's cool. Look at the wooden fences. Yeah, this is cool. Got the crafting bench here. I'm going to clay. I've gotten sand. I don't know where I've gotten sand from, to be honest. Um, I also need copper, apparently. Okay. And let's put the door on. Eat. And reward. And reward for something else. Okay, so now we got a lot of a lot of quests here. Uh, we need, to, yeah. I think the I think the next we need to do is copper. Yeah, let's do some copper. So I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna mine it, and let's see. Um, oh, it's just stone. Oh, it looked like something interesting. Well, I'm getting sand from this, so that's good. Yeah, that's weird that that's stone. That's straight up stone though. That's not as much rubble. Okay, I don't know what the ore nodes look like. Um, let me go look around and see if I can find some. There's a stone, right? Yeah. So I do remember when last I played the game, uh, you wanted to go into the mountains to get ore. 
Um, you can see a little mountain right here. I remember this mountain last time I played, and that's where the ore was. So I'm, I was either just missing it or what. I mean, as you can see, I explored this entire area, uh, found a couple strongholds, but yeah, I could not find any ore up there. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to work on, check this out. This might help. We're going to go to food and medicine, and there's a thing here called Keen Sight, a soup of the faint medicine scent. Uh, drink it can enhance, drinking it can enhance your eyesight for a period of time which can help you find basic mine, trees, and animals. Eh, it's worth a shot. I mean, I can make it, so I guess I gotta make that in the campfire. Where's my campfire? Oh, here it is. Yeah, let's check out the campfire and see if we make it in here. Um, nope, that is not where we make it. Okay. So we gotta figure out where to make that. All right. Well, let's come on in here and go into the same thing. All right, so... Medicine. It doesn't say where you make it, does it? Um, other consumables. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. We could do pickling. Uh, maybe just make it my. Make, maybe I just make it in my inventory. Yeah, just make it in your inventory. Okay. I'm just gonna make one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here. All right. Once I'm over here, I will um, drink the soup and see if we can find some ore. Oh, also, um, you can craft while you're running, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you press if you press enter, or not enter, if you press equal sign, you'll automatically, you don't really run though, you walk. I wish it was a run, but it's not. Anyway, you could, you could craft this stuff while you're doing that. And, oh, you know what? Before I go, I should probably empty out my inventory because I'm, I'm kind of full. Anyway, um, the other thing I did off camera was I made a bone axe and a bone hammer. And honestly, all you need was bones for that. I've already killed a few animals, so I had plenty of bones. We are up on the little mountain here, and let's go ahead and eat that soup and take a look around. Use. Okay. Oh, two minutes, huh? Okay. All right. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, even with this soup. I'm going to be perfectly honest, but we'll just kind of run around up here and see what we can find. There's two ways to get ore. You can either find a... Am I seeing anything? Uh, nothing on the map. Okay, not seeing anything up here either. Although to be fair, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Um. Anyway, there's two ways you can get ore. You can you can get it like I'm looking for right now. There's like loose ore on the mountains and stuff, or you can go to a uh, mine. The problem is the mine is oh no, that's animals or people or something. The problem with the mine is it's uh, guarded by pretty tough characters so yeah, i don't know what i'm looking for here <laughs> if you guys see I i'm gonna specifically record this part because i'm not sure what i'm looking for if you guys see what i'm supposed to be looking for um please let me know because i'm not i'm not seeing i could just have youtube vision you know or maybe there's just no ore up here i don't know I'm gonna look around for a little bit one more minute yeah i'm not seeing anything Hmm. Yeah, this is... I'm almost positive this is where we got the ore from when I played last, like, a couple years ago. I mean, things might have changed, but... All right, deer. Uh, wait, what is this? Oh, that's a sleeping boar. Okay. All right, guys, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I've, I've already broken up all these rocks, all these types of rocks here. Um, they're just simply not giving iron or, or copper or anything. They're just regular, regular old rocks. But this. Yep, that's just uh, stone. Yep, just stone. Oh, gypsum. Okay. But not copper or iron. So I just came down out of the mountains and came over here, and there's just copper nodes just lying here. I don't know what the heck. Uh, I'll take it. It's kind of weird that I didn't find any in the mountains, and I'm finding some over here. What's that level 13? All right, it's just a boar. I don't think boars attack. I could be wrong about that, but hey, man, we're getting some copper here. We just need to make the furnace and start on some copper ingots. Also, I want to do the spinning wheel at some point. Probably won't get to the spinning wheel today. Because, um, I want to do... I, if I didn't get the copper, I would have done the... It's just regular. If I couldn't get the copper, I would have done the spinning wheel. But, we got the copper. There we go. Alright, 
right, looking good. Let's get this out of here and see if there's any more copper in the area. Oh, if they're trying to remember this place. What is this? It's just stone, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing any more copper. So in order to make the forge or the um, the furnace, I need to make the workbench first. So let's see what we need for the workbench. All right, we just need some clay. And thankfully, there's clay right outside my house. And you just kind of hit it with the hammer and you get some clay. Hopefully this stuff will kind of respawn relatively quickly. All right, so now we can start working on that. And I'm just going to grab some more clay while I'm here. I don't see any reason not to. The trees are regrowing. I'm assuming the clay will respawn as well. Yeah. I hope so. I like when stuff respawns. Grab some more. And it looks like it's all gone. All right. So is that thing done yet? Oh, still 30 seconds, huh? All right. All right. We're definitely going to have to expand the base next episode. There's no two ways about that. I'm just hoping that they do something with the building uh, pretty quickly. Um, so, uh, this is a box I put down for my stuff and we'll have room for a few more items in here. But like I said, we're going to have to, yeah, definitely gonna have to expand. It's good. I like games with a lot of crafting tables and a reason to have a big base. A lot of times in games, I'll make a, you know, a big base and people will be like, why are you making a big base? You don't need all that room. And I'm like, I know, but I like having a big base, you know? And, um, well, now I have a reason. Oh my goodness. This thing's freaking ginormous. What the hell? Wait, it feels like there should be enough room there. I mean, I guess I could just put it. Oh, you can't put it on the floor. Oh, you're killing me. Oh man, wait, no, really, why can't I put it here? That looks like there's nothing in the way. I feel like I'm in the way. Man, that is rough. All right, let's let's expand a little bit. I mean, I kind of just want to put it down. But now let's expand a little bit first. Need a nice extension here. And my walls are going to be too high from now on. When I rebuild this, it's definitely going to be too high. Also, can you upgrade? I don't know if you can upgrade stuff. I really hope you can. I don't want to have to tear stuff down. I want to be able to upgrade it. We'll have to see. It doesn't look like you can, but who knows? Maybe you can. All right, seven. And we'll put this. Uh... Oh, boy. Okay, I'll put this right here for now. I don't like the way it's hanging over, but uh, you know what? Here, let's just do this. Come on. Come on, what the hell? Okay. Must be placed on floor. Okay. Why can't I put that there? Don't tell me it's because of this thing. Ugh, whatever. You know what? Uh, that's tomorrow's problem. I can't deal with it. All right, let's go ahead and smelt up some copper. And can we use this anything? Insufficient fuel. Yep, it looks like we can use anything. And four copper coming up. Oh, it's not even going to take that long. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. I'm probably going to have to break this up. I think the reason I can't put the foundation there is because of um, because of the fire. Or maybe it's because it's off the ground. It could be that, I guess. I don't know if you can put it underneath. I thought you used to be able to stack the foundations. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to get back into the building. See what's what. See how things work. Okay, three and four. One more. One more. That's all I need. Come on. There you go. Quest complete. Upgrade guild tech and skills. See, I can look with that when I'm by myself. Um, spinning wheel. Spinning wheel. Craft bronze armor. Craft bronze sword. Wait, I don't even know how to make bronze though. All right, whatever. I will look into that for next episode. I am going to call this one here. If you want to see more of this game, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.